Ricky Garrard's career in CrossFit has been truly inspirational for many. The Australian athlete is known for his great body physique, fitness, and stamina. However, in 2017, he faced perhaps the most embarrassing and demeaning loss of his CrossFit career. Nevertheless, he came back stronger than ever, this time fueled with more passion and dedication to become a champion. This is Ricky Garrard's story. Born in 1994, Ricky Garrard is an Australian CrossFit athlete. He is the youngest of four siblings and has been actively playing physical outdoor sports since childhood. He played soccer and hockey until age seven, and then at the young age of 16, joined the gym to maintain his physique. He also began playing rugby and dreamed of becoming a national champion by participating in the National Rugby League. At 18, he was introduced to the world of CrossFit and participated in the 2012 Open Championship. His source of motivation was not only his pursuit of being fit, but also his brother, Ben Garrard, who participated in the 2015 CrossFit Games. Now, Ricky indulges himself in fitness sports only and is passionate about bicycling. He says that it reminds him of his childhood when he used to ride his bike all the time. In 2017, Ricky Garrard participated in the annual CrossFit Games and dominated the competition. He secured the third podium position along with Matthew Frazier, coming in at first and Brent Fikowski at second place. The event was a huge success for him and he was on the road to receive a massive $76,000 check for his performance. But as is with all CrossFit Games, the athletes must undergo a compulsory drug test. CrossFit is a power-hungry sport and takes up a lot of energy to compete in, let alone secure a podium position. Ricky Garrard was also subjected to a drug test and as soon as the games came to an end, his test results also came back. Shockingly, Garrard tested positive for performance enhancement drugs in his system. According to the CrossFit Games rulebook, the use of any kind of performance enhancing drugs, supplements, or steroids is strictly banned. In addition to the ban, the rule books also mention strict penalties and repercussions for athletes that are found guilty of using drugs of such kind. The 2017 CrossFit Games sent shockwaves across the global CrossFit community as it was the first time that a podium position winner was found using drugs, meaning that he cheated his way to the top three. The drug test report was carefully studied and according to the experts, Garrard was found positive for testosterone and Endurable. Both drugs fell under the categories of anabolic and beta-2 agonists respectively. And these are mentioned word by word in the CrossFit Games rulebook as prohibited. As a result, Ricky Garrard lost his podium position and was replaced by the next athlete in line, Patrick Vellner. He also lost his $76,000 in prize money and left the games with just one award, a four-year ban from all CrossFit games. Later, Garrard admitted to using the drugs and took full responsibility. Shortly after receiving his suspension, he moved back to Yapoon, Queensland and joined a rugby team in hopes of fulfilling his lifelong dream of qualifying for the National Rugby League. But his recent dark past followed him home. Just after two matches, the Australian Sports Anti-Doping Authority stepped in and notified Ricky's Rugby Club that he could not participate in rugby until he had served his four-year CrossFit suspension. The news broke Gerard down and he fell into depression, almost to the point where he quit everything altogether. However, he motivated himself and worked as a coach at the F45 training in Poon. But this didn't last long. Eventually, he then returned to his parents' home. Till October of 2021, Garrard maintained his fitness during his suspension, and as soon as the suspension period ended, he received an invitation to participate at the Dubai Fitness Championship. Surprisingly, he was given a direct invite to participate without even going through qualifying rounds. Garrard took up the opportunity as he had been missing showcasing his fitness skills and ultimately secured the third position. Now that was a great win, but more importantly, it was imperative for his motivation to revive. He also participated in the Torian Pro Oceania semi-final, a live CrossFit event. 
He was highly motivated and maybe a little too pumped. In the very first race, he ran mercilessly, and as soon as he crossed the finish line, fell to the ground exhausted. The medical team on site attended to him, and many fans were devastated that Ricky might not continue his participation in the event. But Ricky was finally getting the chance to participate after four long years. He returned to the competition just 13 minutes before the second event began. Ricky Garrard emerged as the second position holder at this event, and while this win meant everything to him, what held more importance was the pass he received for participating in the CrossFit Games in 2022. The 2022 CrossFit Games saw Ricky Garrard's impressive comeback. He participated in all events and finished in the top five rankings in six events. He also won the bike and the capital event. Moreover, he held the leader's jersey for nine events and came extremely close to winning the competition. However, some minor mistakes dropped his points, yet he did manage to secure the third position, the same position before he was penalized in 2017. After the CrossFit Games 2022, Ricky Garrard also participated in the Rogue Invitational, but unfortunately he finished in 10th place due to three bad results. The Dubai Fitness Championship once again invited him in 2022, but he refused to go, stating that he was getting ready for the Wadapalooza in Miami. The 2023 Wadapalooza Games were dominated by Garrard, as he emerged the winner by a total of 689 points. He came at the first position, followed by Roman Krennikov. Now, according to sports reporters, the competition between Garrard and Krennikov was extremely tough, and they played a duel throughout the competition. But in the end, Ricky Garrard won. As a prize for securing the first position, Ricky Garrard was given a massive $75,000 check. The 2023 season was unlucky for Ricky Garrard. Shortly after the quarterfinals and just a few weeks before the semifinals, Garrard faced a terrible bicycle accident, which resulted in a severe shoulder injury. He fell off a bike during a mountain bike ride and reportedly had to undergo surgery. The recovery time given by doctors was four to six months, meaning that Ricky won't be participating in the 2023 season at all. In August of 2023, he mentioned that he is four months into the recovery phase and feels like his shoulder is 90 to 95 percent recovered. He continues his aim of becoming the best CrossFit athlete and champion in 2024 and has set his eyes on the 2024 game season already. He says that the biggest motivation for him every day is the goal he has had for over five to six years of winning the CrossFit Games. He believes that he has the potential to win the Games, and until he has emerged as the champion, he will not back down. Furthermore, Ricky gives continuous credit to his coach, Justin Kotler, for believing in him and helping him get back on his feet, regain confidence, and mark his name among the best athletes in the world. Ricky Garrard's recovery from a four-year ban to becoming the Wadapalooza champion and securing a podium place once again in the 2022 games is quite remarkable. Many take inspiration from Ricky and follow in his footsteps to become CrossFit athletes and hope to participate in the CrossFit games like their idol, the one and only Ricky Garrard. Now we hope to see Ricky Garrard participating in the 2024 CrossFit games and winning. He has overcome a lot of problems during his four-year suspension, and given his dedication to the sport, he deserves the win as much as any other athlete. So who are you rooting for in the 2024 CrossFit Games? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you like this motivational video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel before you leave.